Namaste, Goa Flowers. I am Anita Goa, for those of you who might be new to me and my channel. Today I offer you practice number three of a program I call Beginner Plus. This is a continuation of my beginner series I call Beginner 8. So in this practice we are breathing and flowing, we're trying to take it a step further, connecting in so that we can release tension and tightness from our upper body, from our neck and from our shoulders, while strengthening and toning our arms. <laughs> yes! So I hope that you're going to enjoy this and find this educational. You can hop over onto my blog at any time and check out all of the muscles that are involved and also learn a little bit more about my five steps to how you can stay tension free in your neck and your shoulders at all times. So that is a good one. So if you enjoy this practice, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment box below how it feels. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would really love it if you subscribe. It is free. If you don't know how to subscribe, you can follow the link also to my blog post where I created a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do it. But if you already have created your own channel, you can just click the Anita Goa TV logo right there in the corner if you are on a computer or the subscribe button on my channel and you will get all of the videos to your inbox when I post a new video. So I hope that you will consider subscribing. Let us get started. I will see you on the mat. The tools that will be helpful for this practice is going to be two yoga blocks as well as a yoga strap. If you don't have this, use anything that's equivalent, a blanket, pillows, a belt, <laughs> anything that you have. So as part of our centering in and our beginning meditation, we are going to uh, recline back using our um, blocks. So you want to basically form like a T position and you decide how high up this can be for you. So I'm going to keep them like this. It's important that the lower block is basically right below uh, your, um, your ribs. So when you drape your body over, you should feel uh, pretty comfortable to feel like it's a good position. So just make sure that you're not too high and uh, find a good position for your head and your neck. I'm going to go at the top part, but sometimes I keep it uh, on the intermediate as well if, you, if I want to drop my head back. So let's see what happens today. It's going to feel different each time. And you can work your, the soles of your feet together. You can keep your legs extended if you feel that that's better. And just rest the arms at the side of your body. Okay, and just close your eyes, close your mouth. Just try to soften yourself into the moment, breath by breath, inhaling and exhaling. And now your chest is very opened and expanded. Your shoulders are naturally rolled back. And you're feeling probably a stretch into the front of your body. Just follow your breath as it moves in and out and just keep it as natural as possible. And if it feels fine to start the ujjayi breathing or the vinyasa yoga breath, feel free to very gradually apply that. So the theme of this practice is to open up the upper body, to stretch the shoulders, release tension in the shoulders, as well as strengthen and tone our arms. So there are five tips that I always say are helpful in order to keep um, the shoulders relaxed and um, not tense and tight or being in a position where you feel like you have a, a pain in the neck constantly. 
and I'll just quickly go through them and you can read more about them in my blog post related to this practice. But first it is posture. Posture is just essential, making sure that we are aligning ourselves physically. And the second one is breath. So making sure, like I keep repeating over and over again, that you put yourself in a position where you can fully breathe. So if you just do those two things, you will be so much better off. Posture and breath together. Then it's important to find your foundation. If you're standing, make sure that you use your legs. If you're on your hands, it's important to feel that you're using and supported through your hands and your arms. So whatever touches the floor basically gives you an opportunity to ground and support you. And the next one is your core or your abdominals. So always make sure that you move from your center. So this can be a physical aspect of it and it can also be a spiritual aspect of it. So just making sure that you're aligning yourself with your goals and with your intention. And then the last tip that I have is that you try to pay attention to what you're attached to. If you're attached to an outcome, if you're attached to a thing or a person or anything that is you know, causing you maybe some anxiety, some tension. And that might be good to look at and see how you can exhale and just release and maybe try to let go of your attachment to that particular thing. And as you try to put yourself in a position where you allow yourself to let go of the attachment, notice how much more ease and openness, how much better you're breathing, how much more the energy or the prana is flowing through your body, how maybe automatically your shoulders drop down into their sockets. So as we go through this practice, we are going to just naturally integrate these five points. And as you flow on your own, whether it's on the mat or off of the yoga mat, you can take them with you and pay attention to them and see if it gives you a little bit more freedom of movement, less pains in the necks. Good, and then gradually we're going to come out of this position, drawing the navel in as you gradually draw your legs together. And then slowly just start to roll over onto your right side. Come down onto the mat. Just take the blocks away or the pillows or the blankets that you might be using. And then roll over onto the floor. Just put it to the side. Ah, oh, and just hopefully it feels like there's a little bit more space there in your front body. And then draw the navel in as you lift the legs up. Place your hands around the knees and draw the knees away. We've done this many times now in this program. Lift your head up, draw in through the abdomen, and gradually roll yourself up. Good, and just briefly cross your legs. And as you sit, notice if it feels like you're a little bit more open. You know, in our day and age, when we sit so much on computers, or maybe we sit a lot in general, we're on our smartphones or our dumb phones, <laughs> and we're so hunched forward. So any opportunity we can uh, put ourselves into a backward bend and just open up, it's so much better for our posture and for placing the head over the shoulders and the shoulders over the pelvis and if we're standing the pelvis everything lined over our heels and ankles okay so that way our body is aligned and it's much easier for us to breathe and for the prana to flow okay so come on to your hands and your knees into a tabletop position Set yourself up so your arms are shoulder distance apart and the legs are hip distance apart. We're going to do the dynamic tranquilizer. I haven't really said this name before, but we've done this many, many times already in beginner eight and beginner plus. We fuse four poses together. Exhale, round it into cat stretch. Inhale, sit back into child, draw the hips back. Exhale, strike the cobra, draw the chest and the chin into the floor. 
and inhale to baby cobra. Lift the chest, roll the shoulders back. And we do that again. We're going to do that several times now. Your arms are a little bit further in front of the shoulders. And inhale, sit back. Exhale, strike the cobra. Inhale to baby cobra. So we're stretching the muscles in the back body. As we draw the hips back, we're creating a little bit more length in the torso, in the chest and the shoulders. Draw the chest and the chin into the floor. We're in a little bit of a back bend, so opening up the chest and the front of the shoulders, strengthening the back. Inhale to baby cobra here as well, opening the front and strengthening the back. Do it again, exhale round. And not to mention the core is getting stronger. Our arms are getting stronger and toner. And if you want to move towards an upward facing dog, that's fine. Do this again, exhale round. Inhale, sit back. Exhale, strike the cobra. Inhale to baby cobra, upper dog. Just do it a few times on your own as I'm just talking and explaining a little bit. Initially, you might feel like it doesn't quite fit, but eventually as you keep practicing and as you do it, the muscles that feel tight will start to soften and lengthen and open. And the muscles that feel weak will start to strengthen. And then over time, your body adjusts and adapts finds more balance, and then maybe what previously did not feel comfortable or easy or like it didn't fit, all of a sudden feels more comfortable, a little bit easier, and feels like it fits. It's beautiful. It's one definition of yoga that you're now able to do something that you previously we're not able to do. Let's do it last time. So just finding this connection to your posture, to your breath, trying to find your support within your core, within your legs or your arms, and just breathe in what you feel you need, and exhale out what you feel you don't need. Just hang out in upper dog or baby cobra and then exhale it to downward facing dog. Lift your hips to the sky, drop your head down, keep your heels off the ground and then inhale, just bend the knees, draw the sitting bones to the ceiling and then straighten the legs out, heels are off. Inhale, bend and exhale, straighten. Feel like you're drawing the shoulders up and away from your ears. And straighten. One more time. Inhale, bend. And exhale, straighten. Good. Slowly lower the knees into the floor and come into the tabletop. So the arms a little bit further in. And then extend the right leg out behind you. Draw the knee to the left elbow, really round the spine. Feel like you're pressing the floor away from you. And then extend. Draw the knee to the right elbow, really round, draw up through the navel and extend. And keep going to the left and back, to the right and back. So feel that like you're getting this little pushing action, pushing against the floor. Good. And then curl the left toes under, draw up through the navel, press the floor away from you, come to a three-legged down dog. Left heel is off the floor, left knee is bent, draw your chest towards the left thigh, peek behind you and see that your right toes point down. So your hips are leveled. Give your right buttocks a good squeeze. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Draw the knee into the navel, send your shoulders forward, feel free to place your hands on blocks and step it into a low lunge. Come on to your fingertips or place your hands on blocks. 
roll the shoulders back. So very important now, feel that your legs support you. Take about 80% of the weight out of the arms. Draw the shoulders actively down. And then inhale, come all the way up. Straighten the arms, straighten the leg, and then bend, make big circles. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. So see that the right knee lines over the ankle and the second toe. Feel a good stretch into your chest, opening up the shoulders. Inhale, up. And then exhale, pivot the left heel in, open to a warrior two. Lift your toes up off the floor. Root into the four corners of your feet. And now gaze to the side. Bring your arms behind you. Try to take a hold of the elbows. Right arm to the inside of the left. And extend, gaze to the back. Inhale to the center, arms behind. And extend, gaze to the front. Do that again. Inhale, keeping the chest lifted and exhale feel your legs supporting you inhale feel the navel drawing in and exhale then inhale reverse warrior two go up and back and exhale extended side angle inhale draw the shoulders down into their sockets and exhale one more time inhale and exhale then inhale and exhale cartwheel ground the left palm to the floor pivot the left heel off and reach the right arm to the ceiling take about 80 percent of the weight out of your left arm roll the shoulders open breathe in fully exhale completely Lower the right hand to the floor, and then step it back into plank pose. Place your blocks on the highest level, and then exhale, slowly lower to chaturanga. Inhale to upper dog, so you make sure that you don't sink below the elbows. And then exhale, round it into cat stretch. And inhale, arch it into cow. Move your hands back, come back to tabletop. Good, extend the left leg out, flex that left foot. And exhale, draw the knee to the right elbow and extend. Draw to the left elbow and extend. To the right, exhale and inhale, extend. To the left and extend one more time so make sure that it feels like you're pressing the floor away from you rounding your back like a cat stretch shoulder blades wrap into the armpits shoulders away from the ears and extend curl the right toes under push the floor away from you and gradually lift it up to a three-legged down dog be very mindful of the knee there Keep the right heel off, bend the knee, and draw your torso towards your thigh. Shake out your head. Peek behind you and see that your left toes point down. And now give me some buttocks pumps. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. Draw the knee into the navel softly. Step that left foot forward to a low lunge. Yeah, come on to your fingertips or place your hands on blocks. See, we get a nice little butt lift as we're opening up our torso, releasing some tension. <laughs> Working against gravity, yes. <laughs> then inhale, come all the way up. Straighten out the arms and reach, bring the arms behind and up and lower them down. So reverse the circle. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So it helps to keep a focal point there in front of you and feel that your head is over the shoulders and shoulders are over the pelvis. 
So you're a little bit in the back bend, chest is open like you were over those blocks. Inhale, and then pivot the right heel in, open, exhale, warrior two. Lift your toes up off the floor, full of breath in, full breath out, and just gaze to the side. Bring the arms behind you, take a hold of the elbows, left arm to the inside of the right, and then exhale, gaze to the back. Inhale to the center, and exhale to the front. Inhale, feel the shoulders dropping down, and exhale, feel your legs and your core supporting you. Inhale, and exhale beautiful inhale reverse warrior two you can look down and then exhale extended side angle i just feel so much gentler on your neck and your shoulders and exhale but of course if you want to look to the side or you want to look up you have that option too so many options Inhale, reverse, and then exhale, cartwheel. Ground the right palm to the floor, pivot the right heel off, and twist it open to the left. Take about 80% of the weight out of the right arm. Full the breath in, full the breath out. Inhale it, step it back to plank pose. You can take your blocks, making sure that you don't dip below the elbows, like we've been working on so hard. Inhale to upper dog or stay with baby cobra. And then exhale it, draw it back into a child's pose. <sighs> stay there, but take your blocks with you and you're gonna place your elbows on the blocks. So try to shift your hips back, placing the elbows on the blocks palms together, try to drape your torso over your thighs and just let your head drop right in between and you'll feel a pretty deep stretch in the muscle in the back of your arm, your triceps and also you might feel like a traction happening here in your torso. So creating a little bit more space in your torso. Shake out your head. Just exhale, flutter your lips if that feels good, or sigh. Just to exhale and release any excess tension, tightness, anything maybe that you feel like is holding you back or just tensing you up too much. Just try to exhale it away and just create a little space there so it doesn't take a hold of you. Good. And slowly come up and go back into a downward facing dog as you exhale. Good, then inhale, lift the right leg to three-legged dog. Exhale, draw the knee to the right elbow. Inhale it back. Exhale the knee to the left elbow. And it's very important as you shift the weight forward that you don't sink into your shoulders, that you tense up your neck or your jaw. Inhale it back. Exhale round like we did that cat stretch. Feel like you're pressing the floor away from you. Inhale it back. Exhale to the left, wrapping the shoulder blades into the armpits. Inhale back. Do that one more time each side. Exhale, soften the face. Inhale. Exhale left. And inhale. Exhale, knee to navel, softly step it forward. And then inhale it back up into a crescent lunge. Ha! Ah. Just circle your hands, soften the wrist in case you felt something there. And then bend the knee and cross the left elbow on top of the right. Adjust yourself a little bit if you need to. Squeeze your arms together as you lift your breastbone, roll your shoulders back. Now you can hang out here with your right knee lined over the ankle, looking forward and just breathe here, 
or you can gradually lift up a little bit and then exhale hinge it forward do that two more times inhale it up and exhale it forward all the while trying just to feel your support through the legs and your core and try to keep the shoulders soft and relaxed inhale it back up reach the arms up and then exhale open to warrior two so adding that movement is akin to being in a very stressful situation and still trying to might maintain your posture maintain your breath and not get all tensed up right it's a huge practice so root down into your legs keep your toes lifted lift through the lower belly lift through the heart and then gaze to the side reach both arms up and then turn your right pinky inwards and the thumb outward bend in your elbow and take a hold of the right elbow press your head against the right arm and work your fingers and your hand right in between the shoulder blades you can hold it here now try to make sure that you maintain the warrior two legs so knee over the ankle in the second toe toes are lifted head over the shoulders shoulders over the pelvis hold it here or work the left arm down and behind and turn your thumb inwards bend in the elbow and possibly join hands with the right hand you can use a strap as well if you can't grab them quite yet but just breathe in here exhale fully here ah, just let the legs shake and bake <laughs> shaking and bacon <laughs> full of breath in full of breath out beautiful it might feel a little bit easier to do this standing slowly release the arms back up and then exhale to warrior two arms inhale reverse warrior two go up and back keep the shoulders dropped and then exhale cartwheel ground the left palm to the floor pivot that left heel off and reach the right arm to the ceiling hold it here or now turn your feet so turn to the outer edge of the right foot and left foot allow the right knee to open to the side lift up through that left hip and reach the right arm over the right ear stay lifted out of your shoulders so let the left arm support you left oblique left leg right our, our right leg is also supporting in the right arm you can hold it here or transition into a side plank right foot in front or right foot on top look down just look down full breath in full breath out good and slowly come into plank pose inhale and then exhale lower the knees the chest and the chin to the floor inhale to baby cobra roll the shoulders open and just lift your hands extend the arms to the back make sure that you can move your head keep the chest lifted and ground the palms to the floor inhale to upward dog ah oh. So feel a little bit more open and exhale it to downward facing dog beautiful keep sending your sitting bones to the ceiling but now try to work your heels a little closer towards the ground and as your heels move closer to the ground try to lift your toes up off the ground feeling a deep stretch into the calves the hamstrings your whole entire spine just feeling that openness and length in your torso good then lift the heels off the floor and inhale lift your left leg to three-legged dog let's do the same on the other side exhale draw the knee to the left elbow really round feel the shoulder blades separating press the floor away from you inhale back to three-legged dog exhale to the right feel the twist happening from the bottom of the ribs you look forward or down and inhale back do that again exhale it's very easy in this vinyasa transition to create a lot of tension in the face in the neck and the tops of the shoulders 
So you want to try to avoid that by drawing in through your abdomen and wrapping the shoulder blades into the armpit so that you're using a muscle called the serratus muscle. And on my blog, I have a photo there that can show you that muscle. It's a very challenging muscle to strengthen, but as you strengthen it, it will help you out a lot. Draw the knee to the navel and step the left foot forward. Good. And then inhale, come all the way up. Ah. And as you reach the arms to the ceiling, it's also very important that you keep your shoulders down. Don't lift them up to the ears. And then bend the left knee, cross the right elbow on top of the left. Oh, it's hard work, right? <laughs> lift the elbows, drop the shoulders. I always say to my students here in London, it's hard work being a yogi, right? But it's worth it. It's worth it. So keep a focal point in front of you. Stay there. Or inhale, just lift it up a little and exhale, descend. So just notice how you react as you add on the movement, because obviously it has a little bit more balance to it. Balance is not static. It's easy to relax the shoulders and breathe fully when we're sitting still and we're having a good time. A little bit harder to do that when we're challenged. Then reach the arms up and open it up to warrior two. Beautiful. Lift the toes. Line that left knee over the ankle, second toe, and just face to the side. Lift through the lower belly and the heart. Drop the shoulders down. Reach the arms up. And then bend the left elbow. Take a hold of the left elbow with the right hand and then press your head against it. So you get that delicious stretch into the back of your arm. Hold it here or work the right arm down and behind your back. Join hands or use your strap. Full the breath in, full the breath out. Just notice how this feels and if you feel like your head is not quite over the shoulders, the shoulder quite over the pelvis, just work at it. Great. Gradually release the arms up and exhale back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, cartwheel. Ground the right palm to the floor. Pivot that right heel off and twist it open to the left. Lift out of the shoulder, so don't sink in. Hold it here, or turn your feet to the outer edge of the left foot, outer edge of the right foot. Or take it into a side plank, foot in front, or on top. Left arm can reach over the left ear. Okay, so feel like you're pressing the floor away from you. Soften your jaw, your face, your eyes, the tops of the shoulders, your neck. Inhale to plank pose and exhale again. Knees, chest and chin. Inhale to baby cobra. Ah, oh, do you want to go swimming a little bit? Let's go swimming. Lift the arms and just make as big circles with your arms as you can. Hmm. Okay, my plant is a little bit in the way. <laughs> Good. Just get as much movement there in the shoulders as you can. Neck stays long. Good. And then ground the palms. Inhale to upper dog or stay in baby cobra and then exhale rest it into child's pose oh yeah does that feel good you can rest the arms in cactus arms or rest them at the side of your body feel free to just circle your hands around if you felt that in your wrists we're going to stretch them out in a bit 
and then roll yourself up vertebrae by vertebrae excellent so this might be a little bit of a different way for you to work on your shoulders but I think this is going to be really helpful for you as you move through your vinyasa practice because if you move a lot and you keep tensing and tightening up your shoulders in the process then all they're going to do is get tense and tight and then when you get to the stretching poses you're going to have to spend so much time in order to release it so come on to your all fours position again so that's my idea behind it and we're going to turn our fingers out and so the fingers point towards our knees and the same thing on the other side so you still have your arms shoulder distance and then exhale round it into cat stretch hold it here and just shake out your head feel the shoulder blades separating and wrapping into the armpits and a pretty deep stretch into the upper back and middle back the back of your shoulders as well as your wrists and forearms and inhale arch do that again exhale round it into cat inhale arch it to cow last time exhale to cat really breathe into that space between your shoulder blades and inhale to cat great and then slowly just peel your hands off ah and hopefully you feel within beginner eight and now the third video of beginner plus that your wrists and your forearms are getting stronger when you hold planks and you do chaturangas or knees chest chin but you can always massage them a little bit and give them some TLC <laughs> yes okay and just shrug your shoulders forward and back and now we're just going to sit down onto the floor come into an easy seat so you can cross the right leg in front of the left leg and sit up tall if you want to sit on a block or you want to sit on a blanket that's fine and then inhale the arms up and then exhale twist it to the right so try to work your right hand towards that right knee and you can turn your palm to face outwards. Try not to turn your head or your face too far. And from here, reach the right arm up and then keep it close to the right ear. Bend your elbow and rest your hand to your head, basically to the back of your head next to your left ear. And from this rotation, we're gonna exhale and bend it to the left so anchor down into your right hip bone as you bend it to the side rolling your navel and your heart up towards the ceiling so if you go too far and you're facing down then you know that you've gone too far so stay higher instead of going too far and feel the stretch into the tricep and into the right side of your torso full breath in Pull the breath out and then inhale lift it up exhale the right arm behind you and then inhale forward cross the right elbow on top of the left lift your elbows and drop your shoulders down okay so just close your eyes make sure that you can move your head and notice how this feels now in your torso if your torso feels long if it feels easier to get into the eagle arms compared to when you were standing or if the standing opened and helps you now to do it better seated good then release the arms inhale them up and then exhale bring your arms down and behind your back and interlace the right index finger on top of the left stretch the arms away and lift your chest up roll the shoulders open and you'll notice as the arms extend behind you and your chest lifts naturally your head goes back if you're on a block or blanket your hands might not touch the floor and that's okay so you can hold it here feel the stretch into the chest and the front of the shoulders or you can exhale and hinge it forward resting your forehead to the floor or maybe on a block if you need to good and then gradually come back up inhale the arms up I'm just going to turn to the side and then exhale draw the hands to the heart 
and as you draw the hands to the heart lean back around in a little bit and slowly lift your legs up off the floor for boat pose so keep the knees bent lift the chest here drop the shoulders down so we're now rowing the boat we went for a swim and now we're in the boat row 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 the boat gently down the stream merrily 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 life is but a dream no tension in the neck and the shoulders whatsoever no pains in the necks bend the knees and slowly lower it down into a low boat pose make sure your lower back is on the ground legs can be bent or you can extend one leg at a time notice how that feels until you can extend both legs at the same time breathe with it breathe with it let your core do the work let your legs do the work round in so you don't feel the tension building up in your neck then draw the knees in and roll it all the way down ha just for a minute cup your hands around the knees draw the knees away and gradually lift it up as the connected unit you are slowly coming up and we're going to repeat this on the other side so left foot in front of the right lift your chest inhale the arms up and then exhale rotate it to your left turn the right palm to face the back inhale the left arm up then bend the elbow rest your hand to the right ear or right behind it and then exhale bend it over to the right knee anchor your left hip down into the floor as you're bending sideways rotating the navel and the heart up towards the ceiling full of breath in full of breath out Good. then inhale gradually come up notice if you felt release the arm come forward left elbow on top of the right so just notice if you felt any different on that side and notice how different it is to do these poses seated compared to standing you know when we're standing we have the legs to support us we have a little bit more leverage when we're seated we're closer to the ground and it feels a little bit different so it challenges our flexibility a little bit more so that's why it's good to do them both so they can complement each other and release the arms inhale bring the arms behind your back and now interlace the left index finger on top of the right stretch the arms away and really lift the chest like, so you really want to puff out and lift and open your front body but just feel how naturally your head goes back so as I sit in this position my voice doesn't change I'm still able to breathe but if I were to throw my head back then I would not be able to talk or breathe so that's when you shut your breath off and that's not a good position to be in so hold it here or exhale and hinge it forward breathe in exhale it out then slowly come back up inhale the arms up exhale draw the hands to the heart again lean back balance between the sitting bones and tailbone lift your legs lift your chest and again find that boat pose so legs can be straight or legs can be bent so all the while here feeling the legs supporting you feeling your core supporting you and just allow the upper body or the shoulders the neck and the jaw your gaze to soften as the more you're in it like this wondering how long you'll be here <laughs> the more you'll tense up okay you get my message you get my intention here good so now slowly you can keep the knees bent rounded in lower the lower back to the floor possibly straighten the legs out low boat pose preparing for what's to come in the next video wink wink <laughs> and lower it all the way down ah, so good just adjust yourself a little bit and before we take our shavasana we're going to do a technique called squeeze and release 
So you're going to take that one thing that might be bothering you, one thing maybe that you might feel is holding you back or that might be tensing up your neck and your shoulders or sort of giving you a headache or pain in the neck. Take that one thing. And what we're going to do, we're going to inhale, lift ourselves up into the low boat pose, like this. And we're going to squeeze our muscles as tight as we can. When we can't hold it any longer, then we're going to exhale and release it down and visualize that thing releasing, letting go. Say, hasta la vista, baby. Maybe someone else can make use of you. <laughs> okay? So three times. Gather it in. Inhale, lift it up, hold it, and you're holding your breath. Squeeze all of your muscles in your body, tense and tight and tight. Make a fist, tense the face, the neck, the shoulders, the bicep, tricep, abs, legs, toes, calves. And when you can't hold it any longer, exhale and drop it down. Ah, let it go. Just notice how much effort it takes to hold on to stuff. Do it again. Gather it in, that one thing. If you have 10 things on your list, just focus on this one thing. <laughs> Inhale it up. Hold it, lift it, lift it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, tighten 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 it. When you can't hold it any longer, when you can't stand it, exhale and send it away. Just notice the prana flowing. <sighs> And then last time, inhale, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, tighten 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 When you can't hold it or stand it any longer, exhale and drop and release. Good. And just adjust yourself a little bit so that you feel comfortable in your Shavasana. Legs apart, let the feet flip open, palms face up. Let's move your head a little bit side to side. Keep your eyes and your mouth closed and just let your breath move all the way down into your belly. Let your belly expand on the inhale and let it go back to normal on the exhale. You can do it more than three times as well. Three times is a good number. And we do it because it takes such a practice of letting things go. It's a huge practice, probably the biggest practice of it all. But I do believe that the moment we connect with what needs to be, re be released, then over time we practice releasing it. So the squeeze and release is something you can do any time during the day that you feel that you don't want to hold on to stuff that does not serve you, that just contracts you, that it inhibits the prana from moving around your body. Anything that inhibits you from rising to the occasion, moving into your own victorious space, So now just allow everything to come together in its own way. As you now have strengthened muscles in your body that needs to be too strong to support you. You've released and opened muscles in your body. You've connected deeper into your breath. As you practice this, you'll notice yourself finding your best alignment, physically, mentally, spiritually. Staying connected to your breath so you're connected to the moment. Making the right decisions for you. It will help you to grow mentally, spiritually, and physically. Don't beat yourself up. Just remind yourself that it is a practice. And you can always come back onto the mat. Reconnect. 
we continue to connect. Then wiggle your toes and fingers. And of course, if you want to stay here longer, pause it and stay longer. Work your legs together. And then draw your non-dominant leg in first, the leg you wouldn't naturally draw in, then your dominant leg in second. And roll yourself up to sit. Cup your hands around the knees, lift your head and roll it up. You can continue to keep your eyes closed and come into your easy seat, either on the floor or sit on your block, sit on your blanket. Work your palms together in front of your heart. Oh, and just notice if it feels like there's a little bit more movement, a little bit more lift openness, a little bit more ease in your posture, in your breath, in your mind. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope that this feels good, that it feels a little bit more like there's breeze. <laughs> the wind is blowing and flowing and um, it feels good. Please let me know in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up and uh, just come back to the mat and practice, practice, practice. Go to my blog post and read a little bit more about this practice. See the muscles that are involved as well and connect into that serratus muscle that is very, very, very beneficial and we will work more with that muscle and I will mention it more as we go along. Okay, I hope you well. I will see you back here next time. Bye.